Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of West Ham Fan TV Post-Match Point. The only West Ham United Post-Match Point fallout show on the internet. Uh, we're in the clubhouse after the uh, Man City game. It was uh, Man City 2, West Ham 1. Nicky and Ryan are up there. Yep. So uh, you're stuck with us three today. Uh, Scott, do you want to take us through the starting line up, mate? Yeah, um, change of system, change of personnel. Adrian comes in goal for Joe Hart. Mm -hmm. um, Zab, we either played... A three, four, two, one, or a five. It could. It looked it, like it looked yeah, like maybe they, they, they were interchanging all the time. Yeah. yeah. So you sort of had Zabba, Zabba right. At times it looked like we had three centre backs with Rice coming in for Winston Reid or Bonner and Creswell, but Creswell was also slightly tucked out on the left. Masuaku, probably you could say was a full left side. Um, Obiang, Czech, Lanzini, and Antonio up with his own. Mm. Um, but yeah. Right system, to be yeah. honest. When you, when you look back at the last two games City have played against Huddersfield and Southampton, mm. you know they've they've had the similar setup, a similar formation, yeah. and frustrated them. Yeah. The only thing I wonder, right, is should we not have started Sacco instead of Antonio, knowing Sacco uh, Antonio's coming back from the fitness issues, and yeah, but Sacco's performances. I mean, we, we always say, don't we? It's better to start and come off than. As, oh, as, yeah, yeah, as yeah. much as as much as in the past I've criticised for us playing Antonio when he's not fit, he had time in him. Mm. He, he had yeah. he just a half to an hour in him. Yeah, yeah. So you are right. You, in my mind, you start him because it's that if you break down, yeah. you can bring a sub on. Yeah. Whereas if you put him on and then he breaks and he breaks down, down yeah. then you you wait you basically wasted the sub. He's not so. a striker. Oh no, of course not. But it, it, no, but he's he shown in, in, in the preview. You either start Sacco or yeah. you stick Antonio up there because yeah. you've got the physical presence. He'll run the channels and he runs the channels, which yeah. he watched. And the thing is, he's, he he's proved before that he can. Oh, I know he's not an out-and-out striker, but he's proved that he's more than capable of filling in up. We well, look there. at look at some of the results we got last. Was it last season when we beat Chelsea at home in the cup? Yeah. You know, it was Antonio up, up, up <coughs> Antonio up front. Mm, yeah. You know, causing defenders problems, running mm. the channels. Working hard, holding yeah. a ball. Yeah. I know you say that about filling in, and that, this only just occurred to me since we sat down. Right? Mm. Is it just occurred because you think we're you're starting a player, uh, Antonio, who's a winger, mm -hmm. who obviously has had experience up front, mm -hmm. who's not 100 percent fit, mm -hmm. over Sacco, who is fit, who has been playing games, and is an out and out striker, and that's. Yeah, 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 no, just, I, I, just yeah, no I agree with what you're saying. I agree mm. with what you're saying. You know, and we, we'll go into later on when Sacco did come on, but he did... No, know, no, no, I agree, mm. I agree with what you're saying. We should be playing in a striker, a striker in a striker's position. Yeah, you've got a fit striker on the bench who's probably our best striker. I mean, I, I, I Antonio's wouldn't... a lot more physical than Sacco. Mm. That that is what I, the reason why he, I see he, he, he probably the, started yeah. up there. He I mean, could probably bullied he, the centre half yeah, a bit more yeah. than than Sacco would. I think he did give us a lift having Antonio play, but I would have mm. liked. And you he's, know, he's, he's quicker than Sacco as well. Mm. He looks quicker than Sacco. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. I, I thought he, I thought he done. Yeah, no, I I, done, I, done he done did. Well, he gave us a lift, but I would have mm. liked if, if we could have accommodated in a way to have him on the wing and have Sacco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you had to, but I just I just think when when you're going to somewhere like Man City, you you need to. I know you'd say, oh, maybe not have Saka on that end. Somebody yeah. else, but, you know, it, it, you're going to City, you've got to keep it. Keep it's it. so, a sort of game you can really go they've, they've, they've played toe to toe, The last it? three games, I think, were Southampton, final and uh, Huddersfield. Huddersfield, yeah. And they frustrated them by playing them one up top. Yeah. So mm. just That's the thing, teams have, like, I mean, thing. start of the season, I think teams were probably trying to go toe to toe and mix it with them and look Listen, what happened, at, you know. At the start of that game... I could probably go through the group chat that we're all on mm. from like uh, the Thames Ironwork boys and everyone was thinking five, five six, six seven, oh, eight. Mm. Oh, this is going to be worse. Do you know what? Yeah, you know. I saw something um, was it yesterday or Friday online. Do you know we were longer odds to win one nil than Man City were to win nine nil? Exactly. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it, no, no one expected, especially the way we were on Wednesday. No one expected us no. to get anything out of this game. Mm. Yeah, at all. And I know well, we have. Well, I know you were saying. Yeah. On, 
Yeah. Uh, the Everton post match party, you saying it'd just oh, be yeah. us to, oh, yeah. to go and get a draw, yeah. and then it told you to shush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did get a text nah. message at half time and say, Did you bet on Monday? And I bottled out doing it. So. Yeah, no, yeah. But, I mean, like, it's one of because I had no expectations going. I, I just thought we're probably going to lose or whatever, but yeah. I'm just going to go into it and just watch the game. I just wanted a bit more desire and yeah. commitment than we'd seen on on Wednesday, and I yeah. thought we got that yeah. today. That's what I was concerned about was the today. performance rather yeah, yeah. than the result going into it. I yeah. just wanted to see us show a little bit of fight, whether we lost 3 0 or whatever, as long as we were trying and we looked, we showed something in the game, and we did. For me, well, the key, just, the we'll key today the game, was not to concede. If we'd, if we'd conceded early, then yeah. and, and, you know and, and I mean. we didn't. And yeah. as I said, you, you look, you look at Everton, you look at Watford, you look at the Leicester games. Them three games, first attack mm. the teams had, they pretty much went in, yeah. yeah. And today it didn't, yeah. You know, and and <coughs> there was in, there, there was big improvements in the way we set up and the way we were structured. Mm. Structured at the back, yeah, yeah. you know, and, and our positioning. We got yeah. in the faces mm. of their players from the start. You know, mm. we didn't. In the first half, we didn't. didn't just give, them. Yeah, we didn't sit off too deep in dangerous yeah. areas. We got at them, yeah. and shut the ball down, which is what we didn't do against Everton. Yeah, but the thing is, if you give them time on the ball, I mean, if it, I know they had a lot of the ball, but you can't expect that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, uh, you know. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, first half we had we had some chances oh, yeah, ourselves. Overall, you, you know, yeah, exactly. had the best of the better of chances yeah. out of the yeah. two teams, and uh, you, you look at it, the first chance we had, weren't it? Come corner. Yeah. Um, crossed in, Creswell in um, um, check flicks it on Antonio, Antonio the back, back post, post yeah. stretching I mean the thing is it was a, it was a tough one because he was at full stretch yeah. and yeah. you know but it, you know yeah. it's, it's still a chance and it, mm. it, it showed that City there you can get at them yeah you yeah. know set pieces they're not great they rested company yeah I mean a couple yeah. of times we put crosses in they were mm. causing a few yeah, yeah exactly. problems exactly. in the box. Lanzini you know. had that chance, <coughs> didn't he? Where yeah. you think yeah. if maybe if he could have squared it to Fernandez, yeah, Fernandez in the center. coming in the centre, that would could have been a goal. Yeah. But you know, I mean, he obviously made the decision he thought was right. And, mm, you know, yeah. and you, want your, you want your attacking players to be greedy. Yeah, in the right positions, mm. and that to be fair, that's the right position for him to have a go. Mm. Yeah, you know, but you, you, you know, we sat back, we defended well, we were structured. Um, we press it. When we did break, a couple of the times, you know, I think there was a couple of times where I think Czech was one. He's brought the ball out, and Antonio's made the run. You see it? They slowed it. They showed you on the replay. But Antonio's mm. made the run between the two centre halves, and all he's got to do is clip it over the top. Mm. And again, he takes that extra touch and knocks it out of play, or like lets the defender yeah, back yeah. in. You know, and Antonio screamed at him. He, he went to him. Look, that's twice now. You've just and that's what if you're going to play the system we play with Antonio up there because of his pace. Mm. Run against that Otamendi and um, who's the other centre half there today? Oh, wow. oh, whoever he is, anyway. Him, you know, he hasn't been playing. Mm. Yeah. So you know, you've got to get him. Get you've got to get him, him a bit turned. of pace. And that was oh, it. Yeah. And mm. it, he, he's run there. They are. He's in the middle, and you know, yeah. check knocks it out of play. But again, that's that's what we've been moaning about. In past games, just we're not moving the ball quickly enough. For you, you could see the game plans so early on. It was a lot of long balls and trying to go over the top, and mm. and Antonio beating them. And um, and there was a quite a few points where Antonio would sort of beat the defenders. He'd be out on the wing, but there's no one where we're sitting so deep. There's no one to cross it into. But at the same time, you can understand the justification for sitting deep because yeah. you commit yeah. too many players forward against City. Yeah, but yeah. Pull you apart. Yeah. 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 So it's it was a bit tough where you see Antonio. He has no one really to pass to, and he's trying to wait for the odd player to catch up. And yeah. um, but you know that's just the way the way it was. The fr- so. frustrating for me thing for me watching it. Obviously, where we didn't go listening to the commentators. You know they gave they, they got old oh, City eight stepped out for gear. You know, I don't think it was a case of City didn't step out of third gear. I don't so. think we allowed them yeah. to be yeah. f- free flowing with their passing. Yeah. You know, yeah. we got as about, as um, as a... yeah, we caused them problems defensively. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, the thing is, <coughs> you know, better teams than us have gone there and got Listen, pasted. Stoke went there and got seven put past them. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, it said yeah. it, it, yeah, their goal difference is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. Cities, you know. Do, uh, I think what they scored, they scored, they've scored something like over 40 goals or something yeah. mental. Yeah. And they said, uh, going, going up against us when we collapsed yeah. against Everton, mm. you know, that's it. But then, as I said, the game went on, us again, we had the better chance, and then yeah. we go and get a goal. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, against all expectations. <laughs> yeah. my, my, my jaw was on the ground, I was like, I was shocked. Yeah. 
yeah. at uh, Ogbonna. He again, up. Again, again, all, all, I could, all I could think of was him on Wednesday. We're going to get something here. We're going to get something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The thing is, I knew him might, because City have started to do this a lot lately, going a goal down mm. and then just coming back and winning. And mm. people mm. think, I think I mean, they, they did they, it against... Uh, they've done it late Huddersfield against Huddersfield. Yeah, they've got like, yes, the last kick of the game. Yeah, they do it. They go a goal down and everyone thinks, oh, and they go, nah. Like, they're just toying with you in a way. like, And they just come back to break your heart. They do it in the... At the end of the day, that's what champions that's, do. Don't yeah. they? Man that's United that's used to do that United, all the time. Arsenal, yeah. Arsenal used, used to, to do, do it, it all you know, time. and and now City are doing it. You know, it, mm. it's just because they've got that much quality in their side. Yeah, you know, but you you look great cross from Creswell after a yeah. terrible <laughs> that corner, corner. The last, uh, yeah, <laughs> along the <field. laughs> you know, awful awful corner, and then he. He plays the ball short, Lanzini lays it back to him, he bangs the cross in, and Ogbonna rises Rose. up. Yeah. Like a sticks salmon. It in the, yeah, sticks Rose it in like the a goal. salmon. And we're thinking, hold on a minute, yeah. <laughs> we've just sat back for 45 yeah. minutes, had yeah. the better of the chances in the first half, and um, and scored. Yeah. I think they, they had one real clear-cut chance in the first half where Adrian had to pull off a save. Uh, was it was oh, it silver? There was that uh, was there was a deflection off of Rice. Yeah. It, it, it Rice and then Adrian yeah, tipped, tipped it, it over, over, over yeah. the bar, yeah. which was... Mm. You know, good not, save. Yeah, yeah, really good, good save. save. Not easy to do. And that, uh, if that would have went in, that's tough on Rice because there was the other. Def- what was the other game? He had that deflection went off his back. Um, oh, well, well, was it Palace? We, no, did, was it no there was. I know. What you, yeah, did yeah. we lose that two one as well? We yeah. lost by the odd goal, and it was that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I can't remember. The, so, but, I can't remember the game. Well, you know, great, great save mm. yeah. from Adrian and. Oh, you have to look. He has to keep his place. Great though. bit of time wasting today by Adrian as well. Oh, the, never the, seen the, so much turf get stuck to someone. That you have to keep banging the it off. City we fans were, were going. I mean, we're, we're talking. He was time wasting eleven <laughs> minutes into the game <laughs> at nil nil, <laughs> and Moyes must have just said, "Like, look, whatever, just slow hold it, on. Slow it right yeah, down. Slow it slow down. It down. It hold on as long as the opposition. Yeah. This yeah. is the thing. He breaks up their rhythm. The crowd get frustrated. They get frustrated. You know, yeah. and it, it's all you've got to do is. It gives it gives your side a chance to. Yeah. You're having a Go, breather, gain a bit of composure, yeah. get set again. Yeah. I mean, this is the you know uh, Pep came out and said, oh, you know, they didn't come there to play football. It's like we're we're nineteenth in the league, right? We need to do whatever it is we can to stay in this league. This I is this is what annoys me. But like when when you get so or you you make it difficult. They, oh, they didn't come here to play. Well, they want to stay roll over and have our bellies tickled. Oh, yeah. They just which wanna, is, to be yeah. honest, which is what we did last yeah. season. Yeah. Which what he wants us to do that again, exactly. does he? They just want you us know. to be be open and let him play and let him entertain and do. Look, what we, they we do, all love free flowing football, but yeah. not every team's got the quality. Look at their bench today. Mm-hmm. Every single one of their players walked into into our team, probably mm. into a lot of the top four teams as well. Exactly. So you know they're they're, they're full of quality, mm. and and we kept them quiet. That yeah. quality they had, we kept them quiet in that first half. Mm. You know, yeah, they, just... they, you can have as much. Arsenal showed the, uh, yesterday. Um, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, against Man You yeah. can have as much possession as you like, yeah. but you've got to convert your chances. I mean, the, yeah. their shot count yesterday was ridiculous. When he made you oh, about yeah. five, five on target, yeah. so yeah. they put three of them away. So it's not about how much of the ball you have. It's about yeah. how, how the, yeah, but this, in, is, this is what I, this is what I said. The, the whole aim of football is to beat the other team's keeper. Mm. And you know, one team does it more than the other team. They win the game, and that's as simple as it. As so that, that's right. Like, you remember? Um, the year it was the year Arsenal moved into the Emirates, mm. and we won one nil there. Remember Zamora when he, yep. yeah, 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 and I think that was our only shot on goal. Yep, and like, Rob Green my, pulled off yeah. save after save yeah. after mm. save. Yeah, and, and it, like my mates were like, "All oh, Arsenal going over there," but we had thirty shots on goal. I said, "But no one." All they'll see is Arsenal nil, West Ham one. They won't go. Oh, but Arsenal had thirty shots, West Ham had one. Because all that matters at the end of the day, you don't get bonus points no. for having more than ten shots a no. game. At the end I mean? of the day, the record books will show <laughs> Arsenal nil, West Ham exactly. one. Yeah. Yeah. Which, it, which at the end of the end of the day, in any game, you know, three points, three points, a loss is mm. a loss. Yeah. But yeah. as we yeah. said, it's it's the way you lose. Yeah. Well, th- 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 yeah, that's it. When you don't have all that quality, you've got to you know try and use your tactics and try and outthink yeah. the other team and do what you can to you try got, and win. You have got to do what you're good yeah. at. Listen, yeah. as, as I said, as I said to you before we started this, that bench is years and years of investment and mm. having loads of money. Yeah, our bench is years and years of penny pinching and not investing the money in the squad. Mm. Yeah. You know, three three youngsters: mm. Trot, the keeper, Martinez, Quinn, yeah. and Johnson. Yeah, and right. you... yeah, I'm on about like the the youngsters. The youngsters. Yeah, yeah, you know, we had three senior players: Are you Sacco and? Um, and Atovic. Mm. Yeah. 
you know, it, it, that, that's how weak our squad is, isn't it? Noble picked, I think Noble picked up an injury, so he didn't get in the squad. Mm. Obviously, Reed picked up his knock against Everton, yeah. and Carroll was out before Everton. Yeah. Now Kiate obviously has picked up an injury and then had to come off, didn't he? Yeah, uh, I think I think with Antonio that looked more like Kremp, yeah. and the fact that I, think he he was, I don't yeah. think he was there to. Play I mean, I, I know him. I know we're getting ahead of ourselves here in yeah, terms yeah, yeah. of the game, but he did look yeah. tired later yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, you know, what, what, Kiate, I, it, I don't think it was that late he came off, was it? No, not uh, Graham's on about Antonio. Oh, Antonio. Kiate, Antonio, Kiate yeah, yeah. It, it was what. 30, 30, yeah. thirty plus minutes he mm. came off, and you know it looked. Hamstringy yeah. again, mm. another muscle hamstring injury. We seem to be picking up a few of them lately. I think Fernandez gave a good account of himself, considering it's. I don't think he's played in a while, has he? Like, I'll be honest. When I saw the starting lineup, he was the one that worried me. Yeah, I, I was. I was. I was surprised. I was very surprised. So, the last game he played, he was awful. Yeah, and you know he must have. Yeah, but everyone was awful. Oh yeah, no, no, but no. What about last game, Fernandez? Oh, yeah. he was awful. But you know he. he Gave a good account of himself today. Yeah, he didn't set the world light, but he, he worked hard. He he kept I his think, shape. Yeah, I think it's a whole yeah. right of the team. That's it. He a good account of himself. Well, that's today. it. They done their they done their jobs. You know, they done their jobs. And but getting uh, yeah, we're gonna be half time. Yeah. Winning one nil. Yeah. Oh, so man. one nil, <laughs> one nil. Yeah, uh, let's, just, let's just end it there. Yeah, let's end it there. Thanks yeah. for joining. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just enjoying the fact that we were we were winning at one point. Mm-hmm. We were like. We took the lead, like I just couldn't mm. believe it. So, and then you hope because there's always the chance that the other team just can't, you know, convert their chances, as we said. So there's there's always hope at that point. Be thinking they're gonna come back second yeah. half. Well, you know, this is the thing. This shows their quality. You kick off second half, they bring on Jesus. Mm. If, if it's Jesus, yeah, G, whatever Jesus, 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 and and that's testament to how well we defended. Mm. The fact that they've had to get another top player mm. attacker wise to come on yeah. and cause us problems you know and, and that was it really we were under the cosh yeah yeah. which you know you expect, you, you expect to be at a grand exactly. like, yeah, yeah, same exactly. like Man City, there, there was a few the odd, like I said the few odd moments where you know Antonio would get up the other end yep. but then the f- sometimes yeah. well obviously Sacco come on for check didn't he after, yep. uh, before half time so he went up top and Antonio moved to the right Seco lacked that physical presence, but he gave us something. He was a yeah. willing runner, as we said. Um, and that, that's the thing. He, he, you know, no matter what people say about Seco, how he conducts himself off the pitch, on the pitch, he gives everything. He, he mm. runs and runs and runs, and he puts, you know, all the effort. <clears throat> all round, he's the best striker we've got. Mm. All round game. You know, when you look, Carroll's the best striker in the year. Hernandez is our best finisher, but Seco's all round game is the best out of all of them. Yeah, in my opinion. Yeah. That's yeah. it. So we can just get his head right. That's the only yeah. thing that's that's held him to be, back. To be honest, mate, I can't see him still being here. Yeah. Well, after Jeff, he's probably going January. Yeah. It's tough though because we could really use him if he can just. I, 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 to to yeah. be honest, as I said, there's but more about is, him. If he does go in January, they have to. Oh yeah, have yeah, yeah, to yeah, bring some yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Because then, what does that leave us? You've got Carroll, who's got his issues, like in terms of fitness, but also in in the fact of that he hasn't scored any goals this season, has no. he? he? Hasn't looked like he hasn't looked really close to scoring any no. goals. And then you've got Hernandez, who's picked up this injury. Who is, yeah. uh, he's a joint top goal scorer, really. Yeah. And so, and then you're looking at Martinez. And, who who hasn't get got game? Yeah, yeah. Has he? That exactly. Yeah, and so, and I you're putting all that all that on the shoulders of her. Yeah, and but it's got, yeah, again, it's hard player. to find a decent striker in January. But you never know. No, you never no, know. But he may, he may. If we can, I mean, it's such a complicated situation, a Sacco situation. It's such a delicate thing. Mm. Um, but you know, we'll have to just see how, how it goes come January. But for me, he has to start against Chelsea. He has to really. Um. I mean, every time he's come on, he's looked decent. Like, he's put in good performances. Yeah, yeah, no, he has. He All has, right, but so... it, it's what, what system we're going to set up against Chelsea. You mm. know, do we go like for like as we did today? You know, yeah. Chelsea are a good side, mm. but they haven't got the attacking options that City have got. No. So do you then go into that game? You know, City have, have started, um, Chelsea have started playing well now. Mm. You know, I saw. I think I saw a match of the day for the first time in God knows it, about three or four years this morning. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> You know, they, they did look good, mm. but you've got to stop Hazard. I think mm. if we can stop Hazard, we'll move a shout mm. against him, you know, because he's their, he's their main man. Mm. And Makes everything <laughs> happen, doesn't he? Yeah, you know, it, it, 
They haven't got the quality that City have got. Mm. Mm. City are far superior than Chelsea with yeah, attacking yeah. options. Yeah, I mean, that's it. You know, but it's, like, again, it's got to be how we are. You know, as I said, I thought Declan Rice's first half was absolutely superb. Mm. Mm. You know, that he tracked the runs of the players really, really well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, which is no, I mean, brilliant. like start of the season, I, I thought he was playing like yeah. the the run he had in the side. I yeah. thought he was to, to, for for a, for well. a young lad to step in mm. when you know he, you've, he took a bit of criticism. He played well against Spurs, I thought, in the mm. cup. Yeah. But to come in to a game where <laughs> your vice cap, club vice captains got injured in the mm. previous game. You've had to come in against probably the best attacking lineup in the Premier League at the yeah. moment, mm. and he did a really good job. He, did, he certainly uh, he, he didn't, wasn't he out didn't of his look, depth. He didn't look out of his, no, no, he didn't, no. no, he didn't look out of place. No. you know, and, and that's what I said. The the boy wants to play. Mm. Yeah. Not just play him. Yeah, just play and him. the thing is, like, it's, it's when when you you're young, you make mistakes, you learn from them. Exactly. You know, it's all it's all part of the yeah. learning curve, isn't it? And it's less it's, it's less fear. I, yeah. I don't know how, re, how long Reed's out for anyway, but we ain't got that many options in that. No, no, no. Anyway, I mean, so. the thing is, you've got to remember, yeah. no. uh, Tompkins, <clears throat> when he was uh, when he first broke in, the first thing he was sort of thrown in at the deep end, wasn't he? Elliot Ward. Yeah, and it was it was sink or swim. Yeah. Oh, he made a few mistakes early on, but he learnt from them, and he, mm. he turned out to be a, a, a very yeah. good centre half for us, you know. So, yeah, definitely. Uh, but and, anyway, uh, yeah, we'll get back onto the game. No, I, I think, I think you've, got, you've got to give Moyes some credit for that, for, that, for mm. uh, his tactics and how we set up. I think it was right for the game. Obviously, it didn't pay off in the end, but we come close to, yeah. to getting something from Moyes. Adrian made some we, good we, saves again we in the second half. We didn't mm. get the higher than we expected. No, no that so, everyone expected. Yeah. Like you say, even the, the yeah. lads who... I, I, on I, Sunday, yeah. like in the group chat, and it's like, oh, oh, 5 yeah. nil, 6 nil, we're going to get. Listen, I'm, only... I'm Mr. Optimism when it comes to West Ham, mate. <laughs> yeah. I predict us to win all the time. I didn't see anything better yeah. than a 3 nil. Mm. I, I, I think the only thing I, I criticise him for is not bringing off Antonio for IU sooner mm. because you look at before their second goal, you know, they there was got, points for Antonio. Yeah, they haven't even yet. got to their first goal. They haven't scored mate. yet. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't we we discussed their first goal yet. <laughs> oh, right. You're jumping right. ahead. You're jumping well, ahead. Well, what I'm saying, <coughs> I won't go into the second goal, but what I'm saying is before they scored their second goal, Antonio, Antonio was, was tiring. He was on the edge. Yeah, he was yeah. like that, bending over. You could see he was breathing heavy. Yeah. And he left it until the 88th minute. And because he pulled up, I think, with a little. I think he had, he cramp, cramp. Or he had yeah. a cramp or something like that. And you could see a lot of the time, he's, it was a few times where he was sort of doing it, he was pulling up and he was holding like his mm. leg, his hamstring yeah, and things. And you're thinking, take him off, take him off. The thing, the thing is, I think with, with the poor fitness that we had when Moyes took over, going into this game, we've got a lot of games coming up in a short period of time. Mm. You know, That's our third game in a week. Yeah. And um, it's hard to work on fitness when you've got that many games. Yeah. You know, because you need to prepare for the match. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. so you know, yeah. it's it's a tough one. They've got to get their fitness from the games, yeah, and oh, we yeah. did start looking leggy. Mm. But like, quite early. But the thing is, like you say, Man, Man City often. have a lot of the ball. Yeah. And when you're defending, mm. it's a lot you, more you, tiring exactly. than when you've got exactly. the ball. You know, Lanzini yeah. looked tired in the second half. I thought. You yeah. Know, he, 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 there was a few players that you probably could have took yeah. off, but Antonio would have been one just for the fact that he's just come back from injury for mm. me. I, I'm, I'm with you. I probably would have took him off a bit earlier. Yeah, but yeah. I'd say ten minutes earlier. Yeah, we didn't yeah. really have that luxury. But their they're, they're first, their equaliser, you know, it was coming. Let's be honest. They, mm. Adrian pulled off a cut. Of, I think he pulled off a cut of good save yeah. before. Didn't yeah. have a free kick before they scored. Well, they had that free yeah, kick. There yeah, was a debate. That away, <laughs> there was a debate over whether that free kick was actually a free kick. Or whether Fabian Delft dived, like I didn't get a chance to look at it again, because um, it was Rice, wasn't it? Was that was... that was just that's on the edge of the box, wasn't it? No, the one he put around there. It was foul, yeah. Because uh-huh. I thought because Rice had got booked in the first half for a foul on Sane, hmm. and that it was uh, it looked it's a not, foul for uh, me. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I it was all happened quick, so I didn't get to look at it again. But I saw a lot of people were saying it was a dive. All right, and it was another look. So I need to have another look yeah. at that. But um, yeah, a lot of people were saying it was a dive. But yeah, I think because the second goal didn't it come off the back of that free kick, didn't it? Didn't they have two free kicks? The, 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 it was the one, Delft free kick, I think, that led to the obviously. Yeah, no, uh, I'm, I'm on a, the, the one that was before. I'm sure was the De Bruyne free kick. The one he that, bent that, round the wall, wasn't the, it? Yeah, he bent mm. round the wall, and Adrian dove across. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Away, didn't yeah. The chance that, that from that was a good save. another chance that they had as well that Adrian. Uh, Another good save, I think. Yeah. Then I think it was that free kick 
I yeah. could be wrong because they did have quite a few chances. But it's just one yeah, again, Adrian morning. saved it, didn't we? We've, it's mm-hmm. gone out for a throw. Yeah. Um, was it a throw it went out for? They took the throw mm. and just smashed the ball into the box. Well, you know, got just yeah. fired it into that yeah, drilled corridor. It, drilled, around, drilled it across the yeah. six yards. As you like to say, Greg. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's line. it. <laughs> Stop making my line. It go, yeah, it goes along the yeah. along in it, mm. and then uh, Aguero taps it in. No, it's not like Mindy who tapped it in. Mm. Oh, isn't that? I swear yeah. it was Aguero. Oh, is that Mindy? Oh, Mindy. Well, no, he just he just sort of fractionally got there before Rice. Yeah. Before Rice. I said uh, Rice was tracking the runs really well today. Yeah. You know, some mm. good players. And you know, one all, and at that point you're thinking, shit, shit yeah, like. Yeah. <laughs> but we we held on for quite a while. Mm. You're thinking we can get a point here. Do you, do you think we sat back a little bit too early? Yeah, sixty five minutes. See, so the thing is, like you say, we've been pressing in the first half, doing a lot of a lot of a lot of running. But we, but we got very, very, we got really deep. Yeah, mm. really but then deep. the thing is, as you're tired, you mm. naturally start to. Oh yeah, I know. Start to drop back, didn't you? Yeah, you know, you are right. Yeah. You are right. I just think we should have tried to sort of press a bit higher mm. for a little bit. But like say when when <coughs> you know the, the amount of passes that he put together in a game, mm. Um, mm. you know, you're going to be doing a lot of running, and you you, you just you're just tired. It's it's, it's oh, just yeah. natural to <laughs> to start dropping back as you're tired. Speaking of passing, I think our passing was a bit better today, actually. Mm. Considering mm. we've had trouble with stringing apart a two passes. Yeah, no, no, there was right. a few few decent bits where, yeah, we, even, where we got forward. Yeah. Even the confidence yeah. to play passes mm. in dangerous mm. areas. Yeah, I mean, you know, like which, first half, there was yeah. a few nice little triangles. And, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, look at Obiang, who's been quite awful the last couple of games. I mean, he, he, shocking he, against Everton. Yeah, oh, yeah, he was, he was terrible. And... Mm. Much improved today. You know, he was actually stringing some passes, yeah, yeah. but he's part of, like you know last season and a bit of the season before. He, he had some decent part. He was quite good. He's got it in his locker, hasn't he? To yeah, play them passes. He's but played some good passes. Everton, he was he was oh, awful. Yeah, mm. he was really so. Yeah, he, everyone was awful. So, I'll night. be honest. That, 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 on the performance, defensive performance today, it really frustrates me that we can do that against Man City, mm. but then our defensive performance against mm. Everton was that bad. We need well, that's something we need to start doing that against the teams in and around. Us, that's how you pick up the points that's exactly. how you pick up the wins so it's all well and good doing it today but when we come to play play Newcastle um, on Christmas Eve Eve Christmas and, Eve. and yeah, no, 23rd 23rd, 23rd. <laughs> well, Stoke, as it's otherwise you've got to be looking at that one as well mm-hmm. yeah Stoke Stoke as well you know we need to really be putting in the, the performances the same performances mm-hmm. um, although you ain't got on to the second goal, have you? Like no, 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 no. But no, you are right. Yeah. In what you're saying is, you know, you can't just show up for these big teams and try and put a decent performance. You've got to put these decent performance against wow. teams against teams in the lower, mm. yeah, you know, in and around us, in yeah, and around where yeah. we are. The yeah. games that we need to be winning, mm. <laughs> that's when you need to put it. Listen, if we got beat four 0 but turned Everton over in midweek, you wouldn't have been mm. too fast. No, mm. you know, fair enough. But, but it's just frustrating. You think you know, <laughs> would have played like that against Everton. Might have been even just defended yeah, like that. You know. I mean, the, <coughs> we we may have, we may have still lost up there. You don't know, yeah. but it's the way you lose. You got to give yeah. yourself it's, a chance. It's, it's that, <laughs> you yeah, got to give yourself sad. a chance. You can't, you can't go up there like and defend like that. Yeah. You, you, yeah, you're just so. not helping. You know. Yeah, but, but uh, yeah, the second goal, it was coming. What right? a ball from De Bruyne! Great that ball. was a great ball. And that's great the ball. thing, you know, he's a world class player. And that was the only time Declan Rice didn't track his runner. I mean, it was a good finish as well. Was it, Silver, yeah, Silver yeah, done well. Sure. It was a good run by Silver. Yeah, yeah. but, that's, but that's the quality that yeah, they, that's what that's what City have got. You know, you know? Yeah. and it, yeah, the kid's unlucky. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, the thing is, it was good. Like all he that, he just cushioned it. Yeah. Didn't he? Yeah. Across it's, the, it's, it's, it's the class he's got. Yeah. yeah. And but yeah. like I say, it was a great ball from De Bruyne. Yeah. Yeah. Really good ball. So yeah, and then we had after that we had one more sort of clear cut chance, and that was a good run from Anatovic, yeah. who uh, I don't know who their player was, but he sort of outstrengthed him. That's the one thing we've got. Outmuscled him. Outmuscled him. Outstrengthed him. I don't go. think so. Word that. <laughs> he, he, you know, he, he come on. <laughs> I think before that, yeah, there was this time where he's trying to shield the ball out of play. Yeah. With two players around him, mm. and the ball's trickling. You know, it's not even. Um, it's not going out. We've going off the pitch. He's trying to. Do, he's just thinking, "What are you doing?" You know, Reset and then, and then him, he, yeah. you know, he gets the ball out wide and goes down the line. I mean, that was impressive. You know, bit of bit yeah. of play when he kept on. Yeah. To that, I thought, here we go. Yeah, I'm thinking, hold on yeah. a minute. You know, last couple of minutes, and yeah. we're getting a nick one. Yeah. And I thought it was a good ball to Sacco. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought it was. A, it was a good ball. Um, he's, he's actually got his head up because normally yeah. with an out of itch, 
He either don't get his head up and look for the pass. Mm. I was mm. just thinking, you know, he's going to bang it across the box here. Yeah, don't just hope yeah. someone. He's got his it. head up. Yeah. Played it in. Mm, he's got it. And to be fair, I thought Sacco should have took that. Yeah. Because he had well, time. I, it, well, he had, he had, there was someone up his ass, wasn't it? But yeah, maybe he could have had time to take one touch. And um, yeah, he just hits it wide, and you think that's it, that's the chance. But yeah. then you think maybe if a few more players did make the run to get up there. He'd have the options, maybe put yeah. a ball in. But like Shavon's probably shattered. Yeah, that's it, they're tired. Let's. That's, that's where we need to sort of get on that fitness, you know, and improve that to no, get... No, it's coincidence. The two subs combined. The two, yeah, the yeah, two yeah, furthest yeah. forwards have got the fresher legs. But, yeah. but uh, you know, no, that, we've done, we've done a lot of... That's the difference, isn't it? In, 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 when, when you're down on your luck, down at the bottom, you don't convert mm. them chances. A confident mm. striker mm. puts that in the back of the net, doesn't he? Or at oh, least yeah. it's a target. Yeah, I yeah, mean it was. I think it was tough where where he was uh, in position to the goal. If he was, I, I reckon, if he was a little bit further left, <coughs> and the ball came in a bit faster. He could, puts that in, but obviously he puts it in on his right foot, which is his preferred foot, and he's sort of just near the post, isn't he? And obviously their keepers there. That was well wide. It was good. It was well. Wide. Yeah, it was. Wide. So it's, it's just. I think it's, it's p- position. I don't think it's as clear cut, easy goal as nah, what I'm saying. Of course, not, of course right. not. Look, he's got in a position, and you know it's unlucky. Yeah. On, as I said, on a confident, confident yeah. striker who's played games, maybe he puts hand back in. Yeah. I think the reason why it's the, the magnifying glasses on it so much is it was the last chance of the game to yeah. get to get something. Yeah. Whereas if it's like in the first half and the most bits of things, you wouldn't really dwell on it but, too well, much. Well, the thing is, you look, they went two one up straight away, bought on um, Fernandinho to mm. try and shore it up. Yeah. So they they were they were still worried that we could yeah. nick something out of it. Definitely. I mean, I, I just think it's a testament to us, really. Yeah. That, you know, last last minute was still in the game at City. Yeah, yeah. This you know, is, looking is, looking to yeah. try and nick a point, which is what you want. But <clears throat> the, the, the 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 downside to everything is a loss is a loss. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Although I'm not I'm not as I'm not as I'm damn not, beat no, exactly. as we were but after it, the Everton game. Yeah, but performance in, was I a lot better. What you're saying in the grand scheme of points, table mm. position, a loss is a loss. It's yeah, it's but one of them. On the, the upside, we have shown there's a lot there's a lot more positives do. to take yeah. out today mm. than there was on Wednesday. Yeah. But, <laughs> but like you say, yeah. it's still a loss. Yeah, but that's the thing. I mean, the only thing where it makes me wary in terms of the performance after the Leicester game, I thought. You know what? That's given me a little bit of optimism, a little bit of hope. Is that we showed about something, and then we went and uh, you know start started dropping points again, and you know we got bad by and I to get bad by Everton and putting these shit performances, and then it's like, so are we going to be like this today and put in this good performance, mm. and then just go and don't go on a run of being shit again, and then put in the odd? You've got to be consistent. <clears throat> that's the thing. When you look back at that Everton game, second second half, we were probably the better team. Oh yeah. We, we, but we still conceded two goals. It's, mm. it's, yeah, the pro- our problem is is creating chances and you know finishing them chances, mm. but yeah. we do get them. And so, keeping the ball out at the other end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, the, it, it, the mistakes. That, 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 Everything, that, football that, in general. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that was the most frustrate, frustrating thing for me is just the way we the way we defended against Everton to how we defended it today. Yeah, you know we've yeah. if we take that defensive resilience into every game, but add that bit more. Spark up top, mm, yeah. you know. When Hernandez comes back, he gives us another option. Obviously, Carroll coming back. Yeah. We we <clears throat> this is the thing, right? No, you, no game is an easy game in this league. Mm. So we've next up's Chelsea, then we've got Arsenal, then we got no, it's Chelsea Stoke then Arsenal, and it was mm. Chelsea Arsenal Stoke, yeah. one out of two, and Chelsea, Chelsea Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal no. Stoke, mm. and then Arsenal in the cup, then Newcastle. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we've got to look at Stoke. We need to. We don't. That has to be. Yeah, and it's not a great hunting ground for us either. No. no. So we need to sort I mean, of. You know, we need to get Sank out of Chelsea yeah. and Arsenal. Yeah. In my which mind. is a big ask. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have got more chance. I mean, Stoke have been have been in a lot of trouble this season. <laughs> Mate, look at Everton. Yeah. Yeah, you know, for me, the one of the saving graces, Everton won two 0 yesterday, so they kept another clean sheet, and mm. you know, so it's. But, but yeah. I mean, it's one of the things you look at them going, oh yeah, no, no, no game's an easy game, but we've got, we have to pick up the yeah, points. Course, we have to, do. like, you have to go at that, and it's just the we just need to show the the, the desire. And yeah, the, I'm 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 more optimistic going. going into the Chelsea game after mm. today's performance even though we didn't yeah. win mm. than I would have been if we were going into it after the Everton game yeah. so hopefully uh, you know when we play Chelsea it'd yeah. be a really good atmosphere yeah, over the London it. derby yeah. which it was, it was, it was that, that Leicester game last year, wasn't it, when we played them over well that, that Leicester game really showed what that, that stadium could be yeah, because 
I mean, course. obviously, we've had like Tottenham last season, uh, Chelsea last season, Chelsea last, Chelsea season. last, Chelsea last season. season. Yeah. yeah, so we've had that, and you think, oh, well, they're London derbies, but that's but, a Leicester game. That shows that we could have it like that all the time, yeah, exactly. no matter what. And, we, and 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 that really did have an effect on the team. And I think if we can be like that against Chelsea, I think the atmosphere is going to be against Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. It's a downside oh, yeah. that it's an early. It's kick-off. an early kickoff, yeah. so people won't be. Some, yeah, and also sometimes in games you're a bit flat. The early yeah. kickoffs, but, but if yeah. we can get that atmosphere going again, yeah, get just... behind the team as we did against Leicester. As I said, London yeah. derbies, you never know what's going. So I'm feeling <coughs> like so. Although we lost the day after yeah. the performance, I'm I'm a bit more confident a bit, going yeah. into those two games now, yeah. like Chelsea and Arsenal. Yeah, I mean, so. yeah, we might be able to get, get something. But yeah, I think for me, I think Adrian should keep his place for, for, for mm. Chelsea. I thought he'd play both, though. It'd be, it'd be asked to drop him, of course. I think. Paul, right. well, you can't drop You can't. Look. It, if, if Hart's back in, mm. it's in mm. his contract that he has to start. Mm. That's, the only, that's the only justification that they can yeah. have of putting Hart back in. Because Adrian couldn't do anything with either of the goals. No. no. You know, he, he was and, and pulled off a lot. Pulled off four or five decent saves. Yeah. Not mm. Sancho like, wouldn't have saved them, mm. but but Adrian, Adrian had saved them, yeah. mm. and he did save them. His distribution was okay. You know, he 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 was much. He was vocal. Yeah. What you want from you? Know, mm. like, yeah, and that's the thing. I'm not sitting here saying, oh, yeah, Ed, but you know, always is any vocal. Yeah, yeah but he he but, uh, he deserves yeah. to start. Let's be honest. I, I'm not saying like that's Joe Hart's the reason why we are where we are. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm saying like obviously on the back of if you have a player, they've played a game and they've put in a good performance, you have to sort of stick with that player, don't you? Didn't you? Like mm. like in a way and. You know, I I think that's a very it's a, such a divisive subject, isn't it? The whole Joe Hart, Adrian thing, and people will say, oh, it's not Joe Hart's fault, and other people say he's crap, and yeah, Joe Hart, Joe Hart's not crap, right? And yeah, he made a mistake against Everton that cost us a goal, yeah, mm. right. But against Palace, when you look back at the yeah. Palace result, he got us that point. One mm. thing about Two Adrian. He almost had one of them situations <laughs> when he come out. Yeah, the Edgerham moment Jesus. when he come out. Yeah, took out Jesus. And it was just that bit of luck yeah. that uh, Jesus or Jesus, whatever you want to call him, he, he obviously he gets up, but then he trips, doesn't yeah. he? Mm. Yeah. Obviously, Adrian takes the yellow card, but then you think if he stays on his feet, he crosses the ball in. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But I don't know. He was never going to stand on his yeah. feet. He was going down. Um, mm. But yeah, it's it's always safe but to it was say. A, but line, but it? Like, yeah, it was but an Adrian he, moment. He, yeah, yeah, he had to go for it though. Let's be yeah. honest, he had to go for it. Yeah, he'd made that. Well, maybe no, he didn't have to go for it. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't have to go for it. He made a decision yeah. to go for it mm. when he knew he weren't getting it. He made sure he took the player. Yeah, because he gives away a free kick that's and it. He, to get sent off over there is yeah. very hard. Yeah, I think that's the problem with the Joe Art one. Is all right, so. To, to him, like, I think, right, I'm going to get to a one on one situation. He let yeah. me go and take the ball. But it was just, it was such a shit fucking kick. Yeah, like, it, the way, you know, the thing you, that you made it, the one where he kicked it straight to Rooney. Yeah, straight yeah. to Rooney. Instead of like, it was, it went low and back in the middle rather than sort of skying it. And he maybe. Should, he should have smashed know, it out for yeah. a throw. Smash it out. Yeah, if it had put it out wide, yeah, exactly. even though it would, it would have still been a crap clearance. Yeah, it was out wide, it's, but it's, 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 not yeah, he's put yeah. it straight into the last person you want it to go to. Yeah. And, uh, but you I mean, know. you got to take you out off that. It was a, it was a great finish. It was a good yeah. finish, by yeah, but yeah. you know, you shouldn't be giving it. Shouldn't the ball shouldn't have gone to him? Should it? Should have gone out wide? Mm. But but so you're saying that contractually, Joe Hart has to start. If he starts, no if he starts against Chelsea, yeah. it's got to be in his contract that he has to start. Oh, right, you're saying that. Because right, there's, so there's yeah, no justification that. for yeah. the manager to turn around and go, sorry, Adrian, you dropped again. Mm. Yeah, that would that'd be... That would be gutting. He's got a conspiracy theory yeah. over there. I'm He's sorry. always got a conspiracy, <laughs> conspiracy theory. Mate. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I, I, I think... Psst, for me, I'd like to see Adrian and Saka both mm. both start. And Declan uh, Rice has got to play as well. Yeah, Declan mm. Rice. Well, I don't, yeah. I don't know how he reads out for. No, I'll have to find out that. But like I say, he yeah. definitely wasn't out of his day today. Yeah. He, he Listen, played he, really he, well. He, as I said, the only time he switched off, in 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 my opinion, is for the for the goal. Yeah. You know, he tracked the runs of the players going through that middle really yeah. well the whole game and. The one time he switched off, they scored. That's the which, worst bit. Which we've said time and time again. You make a mistake as a defender, you switch off for that split second as a defender. Mm. It leads to a goal. Fair about the pitch, you got a chance to deal with it, haven't you? Why, that's why strikers don't get criticised as often as defenders do. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know. But I mean, ultimately, so looking in the grand scheme of things, it 
does it make you feel better about staying up or do you think I mean obviously ultimately we've still lost the game and we've still not picked <laughs> up points where other teams in and around us have I think we're only one point I still point. listen I don't think we're going to go down mm. it'll be but you, do you think it's going to be gonna... hard very very hard if, if but... we show the same desire and commitment we did today yeah. then this is the lowest points tally we've had at this stage of the season in the Premier League <clears throat> But we're still in touching distance to the teams around us. Yeah. We're not we're not like adrift by three or four like three wins or four wins. Yeah. You know we're adrift by two points. Yeah, or, or a point. You know. So no, I'm, I, mean, I say today's give me a bit of confidence that we can yeah. we can. The biggest thing for me and, after and Everton try and dig ourselves out of it. The, the, the biggest thing I thought why there's a good chance of us going down wasn't so much where we are in the league and the points or even the 4 nil, the 4 goals it was just the performance mm. the performances because you're thinking like you know if we if we're going to keep performing like that where where are we going to get these wins from and the grand you know what if we, we've won two games all season mm. you know so but if we can turn a corner and, and, and maybe get a little bit of confidence because you know what hopefully the lads will feel like look we've lost that game but hopefully we have a good account of ourselves mm. against the best team in the league by a clear mile. So I mean, it, it, we, we, you're looking at Man City and you're thinking, yeah, champions. Yeah, yeah we're but not we, down. We, 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 need, we need to get to January and still be, if we're still in that bottom three, still be in touch and distance of everyone mm. around us. Mm. You just don't if want we, to get too far behind. If we're six points adrift come January, we're in big, big, big trouble. Mm. You know, we've got to still be in there and around. As I said, we've, every, every game now is a cup final. Yeah. Until, yeah. you know, until we get out of that bottom three. Yeah, we yeah, need yeah. to start playing like that. Exactly. Games, that's it. Yeah. So, um, but I say, we showed today what we, yeah, what we're capable. Yeah, of. Yeah, that's it. It's too early to say we're <coughs> down yet. Um, so we'll just have to see. It's one of them things is you can't really like take this and go. All right, we judge that performance. We're going to be fine. We've got to see game a few games afterwards if we can mm. be consistent and keep it up and not have the yeah. one good performance out of. But like I say, we've got to start. We've yeah. got to start performing like that against yeah. the teams around yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. When Newcastle and Stoke come around, for me, we've got to get six points for yeah, those yeah. two games. Definitely. Um, so, hopefully, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, what else? A loss. We're not as despondent as we were. Nah. On Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday. Uh, yeah. So, so I suppose before we go, I suppose we talk a bit. I want to talk a bit about the old meeting with Brady. I've seen lots come out about that. I there, so I don't, I can't comment. <laughs> well, I mean, like the, the things that have come out. The yeah, Nicky, have, Nicky and Ryan. Nicky and Ryan Nicky went. And obviously, Ryan, a lot of stuff has come out about that. Um, Not in, just him, by the way. There were other. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, but from uh, our Facebook, from our group, yeah, yeah. A lot of stuff has come out um, from that about. Obviously, in January, that like Brady come out and denied the whole twenty million is what our budget is. Apparently, yeah. they don't know what their budget is yet. Um, which well, they're doing counting the pennies as we speak. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> the thing is, like, and that's the thing is putting all the paying coins into piles <laughs> yeah. of ten. And, and this is the thing, like a lot of people have said, oh, you can't believe what Brady says. And yeah, obviously, there's a lot of justification for that. But you still got to go to these things ask the questions and then you can hold her accountable anyway because if she doesn't follow through on any of it you can say well look you said this, this, this you and said. this this blah, blah, blah. and use it as a stick to beat her with like metaphorically <laughs> yeah 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 no uh, I get what you're saying so you know that's the, that's the so yeah if that's true you know because 20 million isn't going to touch the sides 20 million is not going to buy you nothing in January exactly. when when you've got the January transfer tax exactly. um, so that's that's something to look at um you know, be hopeful of. There I was, uh, Nicky and Warren, uh, yeah, that, the video about yeah. that as well. There's a lot of comments going. People was like, "Oh, all you did was talk about bees and the badge. Like, we need to talk about like, you know, why are we so shit? And what are you gonna do and prove our performances? Like, for one, it's not. It's not it's it's like the nothing. Stand to the management. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing. There's literally nothing she can do about that. And 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 this is the thing. What the whole that a lot of the premise was, and there was talk about the transfer budget, mm. but a lot of it was focusing on. Making the ground feel more like home yeah. for yeah. the fans because you yeah, do yeah a lot that. of the issues were to do with See, the I, ground. I, I thought, I thought with, uh, with the, the the bloggers and the the channels and the, the websites and all that, I thought the meetings with Brady was to try and do that connect the fans with the board yeah. by bringing up the issues yeah. that the fans have. We've yeah. all got an issue with the way the team's performing at the minute, but that's but, out of their hands. <laughs> well, it's not out of, well, their, it's it's out of it, her hands. Yeah, I mean, all right, it's in their hands in the sense. Yeah, it's in the yeah, it's in provide the, the money hands. to buy the. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. for the actual the way they're they're playing on the pitch, yeah. 
That's down to the that's down oh, yeah. to the players. That's down to the players I mean, and even the, even the, the coaching staff and budget ain't really on her. All she can do is be a, a mouthpiece for Sullivan. Mm. In terms of that, is she's like their little representative. A lot of stuff she has to do with is the stadium. That's <coughs> because if you improve the stadium and make it feel more like home, then the fans are going to feel more comfortable there. They're going to be you know mm. going to get a better atmosphere, and it is going to ultimately affect the team in a positive manner because then we can start maybe making it mm. sort of like a fortress. But yeah. yeah, so that was talked about. Obviously, yeah, a bit about the bat is people want our history to be a bit more recognised. They want to make it feel less corporate. Mm. Um, she talked about what is, this is the something that I've been saying since we moved there, squaring off the the stands. Because you've got that little arch, haven't you? They, they, they arch. I sit in the corner, so I'm like the closest you can sit. But then it arches. Mm-hmm. So if you're sitting in the middle, you know, you're a lot further away. So squaring that off gets fans a lot closer to the pitch. It's still like a running track, isn't it? Mm. Like the way yeah. the seats are laid out, it's a bit like yeah. a running track yeah. would be. So, yeah, and then filling in the corners with some seats as well. Because so you cram more people as close to that pitch as possible. Ultimately, fans are going to be able to impact the game a bit more yeah, as fans yeah, can. But again, while, again, while the might... LLDC is still in charge of stadium, we're limited to what we can do. Well, which, well, they're not, are they? They're not going to be in charge of the stadium because we've got uh, Sadiq Khan. Um, yeah, but at the moment, they yeah. still are. Well, uh, yeah, no, but so... yeah, I think he's he's in the cusp on the cusp of taking over. Like it's not like he's going to take over a year <laughs> from now. <laughs> look, look. Two years. Listen, he, yeah, if he does take over. He's yeah. moaning because the taxpayer's paying all this money now. He ain't going to even pay more money mm. to convert the seats. No, no, no. No, but that, <laughs> it'll, it'll, yeah. no, but this is the thing. Then. West Ham it'll, it'll will be for as that. you were. Yeah, that's it. West yeah. Ham have got to pay for yeah. it. Because at the end of the day, as I said last week, we have the things we were promised have not been delivered. But now, to do those the, sorts of things, we have to... Want, if the club want to get the fans back on side, mm. do what was promised. Yeah. So all they've got to do, they promised us... A, B, C, and D, and they Start didn't give delivering, yeah. deliver what they promised. At the end of the day, we'd all yeah. be happy. Yeah, but um, again, changes to the stadium at the moment, you, it's not our ground to, should never to have make gone those in changes. There, should never have gone in there unless the things that we wanted mm-hmm. were in place. Mm. Oh, yeah. See, easy, you, this, is, this is the thing. At the end of the day, if we was not there, mm. Mm. that place would be empty. And yeah. this is what everyone forgets. Apart from probably West Ham fans, and that's uh, because it's costing the taxpayer now, right? All this, oh, we pay for the stadium, stadium and sitting there. Cost, exactly. Yeah. Look how much money, money back in that area gets put back, gets put back into the local area, back mm. into Newham from us being there. Well, look you at know. Stratford. Look at yeah, look Stratford. at the, the look. pubs around Stratford mm. now on a match day. That's it. Yeah. How much business they must do? Yeah, you pubs know, compared to what they used to do on a Saturday food night. Food places, yeah. shops. You know anything? It's it's lifting the area up. So, mm. but that's so. The, the situation is obviously, and I, I read a bit of that report uh, <coughs> myself. Obviously, he's looked at it and said, well, the whole the whole the way they've built the stadium obviously is, was a shambles because they built it was a temporary. Like the whole idea was the top tier would be taken down. It'd be a twenty five thousand seater athletic mm. stadium. That's how they built it, and then they thought, oh shit. It can't just be an athletic stadium because that again, nothing's going back into the area. You're not even going to fill I mean, twenty five thousand on there. How often do they have athletics over there? Twice a Twice year, a year. It would have been used. And it, yeah, um, exactly. What, what, did, what was the last time? And it was only because uh, Usain Bolt, Mo Farah, were running. Yeah, and, and Usain Bolt fought retired now. Yeah. So, yeah. Listen, uh, as we said previously, uh, you know, I'm bored of saying it. Sebco is the problem. Yeah, is the mm. is the cause of all the problems because they said the they said you need to build he, this in mind with exactly other sports. Guy, yeah. he uh, said it's going to be athletics only. Said exactly. Mm. And so people you like, know, and that's that's look. Yeah. You can you can blame the taxpayers can blame us as much as they want, mm. right? But it all boils down to when the plans were drawn up, yeah. they should have thought we need to put yeah. a football club into this. And mm. we were going to buy it. We were going to buy it, and then because of uh, Levi and Barry. Um, chirped up then the old DC bottled it and said no 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 do a release mm. you know so but yeah so the, the, which we're saying thank you very much yeah alright sorted <laughs> thanks very much but look, look at it there's a few <laughs> options that can obviously um, uh, Sadiq Khan obviously is going to take over he's, he's obviously his goal yeah. is to look at how to reduce the cost to the taxpayer right yeah is that's what he's looking to do yeah. now the to me, I've already kind of said the most viable way to reduce the cost of the taxpayer 
payer is to offload it to West Ham. So yeah. West Ham... Now, I, I can't sit there and say whether they're going to give it to us for free or they're going to sell it to us, but for, for They won't us, give it to us for nothing, they'd want it. Nah, well, I don't know. There's been loads of different things that have come out, whether they will just... But for for them not to, ha- to have it anymore, for us to own it outright, that's the best way to save the taxpayer money. Because there's talk about, basically, he's projected that in 1718 they'll lose 24 million pound now charging us more rent which i don't think is feasible they're they not going to find they can't they but can't. but even if they did they're not going to charge 20 extra 24 million but they can't we've got a legally binding contract for 99 well, years yeah exactly yeah, so. so there's no there's no real way you know whether you change the structure of it of the stadium or whatever oh, which they're going to have to put more money in <laughs> um or they're talking about yeah finding a new tenant and all there's all these other little things, but I think the most sensible and reasonable thing is to yeah. But then if they if they went right, we're going to get another tenant, and they broke our contract with them yeah. Then they're open to all sorts of legal. Yeah, actions. that's the thing. I don't know the 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 whole the whole legal aspect of it. Listen, but if they if they me, come if they come and turn around and say right, um, we're going to rent it out to another football team, mm. and West Ham will just turn around and say see you later. We'll go somewhere else then. Mm. Mm. And people are going to be saying there, well, where else there is to go? There's plenty of land out in Essex that they, they'll... Listen, they've moved, us, they've moved us from Upton yeah, but, Park because they chose to. But like you say, right, we've they, got a contract with them. Oh, exactly. But yeah. So if they saying. break that contract... Yeah. They, look, and they, they, they're, the mayor's hands are tied yeah. mm. because yeah. of that contract. That's, that's why I think it's <coughs> the most sensible thing is to do it. And people are talking about, oh, no, but the athletics legacy and things like that. It's the, that's the, now is the best excuse to get out of that whole legacy thing is, is to use the angle of saving the taxpayers' money, is to say, mm. that's why we're doing this. Look, we've, they've had a bit of their legacy, had a bit of, of uh, athletics. But the, the biggest thing is to save the taxpayer mo- 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 money and having the athletics there is costing so much money, so we'll scrap that. And they, they, <laughs> everyone, they come out clean. You know, Sadiq Khan comes out looking like the hero, save the taxpayer money. We've got a stadium that we own and we can do whatever we like to and then the the board can finally maybe sell it on to a, a new fancy owner. And actually come through on yeah. some of what they said. And the everyone's a winner. Let's, let's be honest, right? The the government mm. built the O2 or the, the, millennium, the, the millennium, millennium Dome. Stadium. Yeah. Millennium, millennium Dome, Dome yeah. Right? Sorry, not stadium. And that was losing money and over fish. Mm. So what did they do? Yeah. So they sold it. Mm. They sold it, yeah. right? The only way now the government have got of getting out of losing the amount of money they've got yeah. is to sell that ground mm. yeah that's it so um, yeah let's, in my opinion yeah let's see what happens start criticising me but yeah. that's my opinion there in might be opinion. Yeah. Yeah. it's just so, what I've been saying for the past well whenever we decided we were going to yeah. get that we, we might have some more information about it soon if meetings and things happen what they're going to happen I won't go too much into it now but we might have a bit more into it but um, yeah should we wrap it up there let's yeah, well, that's yes, we're. let's. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Any, uh, what have we got coming up this week? Well, video wise. Video wise, obviously, fan cams are all up now, right and about now. Um, I think the first thing we'll have up, you're going to have on the social early on in the week, isn't you? Yeah, on the social. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're gonna. Uh, that's gonna be one of you used to, I think. Isn't it? Yeah, probably, probably. Um, one of you've got Scott's preview, oh, preview. and a new starting eleven, 11 show. show. Yeah, that's it. We're taking it out and do a show. Going straight into the starting eleven, so you guys can see what Scott thinks it should be. You guys can tell him, you don't even know what you're talking about, mate. <laughs> yeah, most people do that. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, yeah. So, what's our next game? Is Chelsea? Chelsea. Chelsea. So there'll probably be some collab- collaborations with uh, some of the other Chelsea channels. West Ham week, and you know, all the maybe, other stuff. Maybe some. Maybe it might be amusing. We say that every week. If it happens, my jock has I ain't done in the social couple weeks. Yeah, yeah. 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 we'll have to get your. Me, me, and Scott, yeah. eh? Me, yeah. the consistent ones on yeah. this channel, eh? Yeah. Um. We like, we like, <laughs> we like postman. Ooh, rain, Ooh, rain, <laughs> <laughs> rain, sleet, sleet or snow, mate. We're there with our videos. We well, yeah, normally help us make because we're indoors filming them. Yeah, yeah. From, from the comfort your own bedroom. <laughs> Oh yeah, like your one you have to Yeah, I have to travel round. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, yeah. Think about that. <laughs> so But yeah, all that stuff coming out, loads of good stuff. Don't forget for us obviously. I hate you sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna save that for off camera. That's what he usually says off camera. <laughs> no, I don't mean. Really. Uh. Twitter, Facebook, all that volley. Vol Yeah, volley. 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 The, the, yeah, so you've seen all the stuff about that. Check us out on there. Download that. 
Got all the stuff now, haven't we? Yeah, we've got some good stuff. We put polls up. Everyone loves a good poll, don't they? Mm-hmm. Put polls up, yeah, pictures. Yeah. Have a look at it anyway. You'll see us tweet out about it. <sighs> um, subscribe, all of that stuff, and uh, we'll see you next time. Nothing yeah, left yeah. to say. Come, Come on, you irons. <laughs>